So anyway, we got Steel and Ground Queen this time. I mean, Trip, uh, Elise is just spamming Ground Queen at this point, knowing that Jeff doesn't have a good answer to her Ground Queen. I mean, he's got, he's got the best answer this time. <laughs> Flying King. Not the best of answers, because... I mean, it is literally the best, the technical best answer. It's the not objective. the technical best answer. <laughs> no, the objective is... best answer is actually Flying Knight, but... Enough, the, no, it, it is the objective best answer because you can never lose against no, you ground. Can lose. No, no, you no. You can you lose can by never, losing all your other you can pieces. You never lose to the ground queen itself with a flying king. Let me cook, okay? Yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Trent tried to spread misinformation right here. It's not even misinformation. <laughs> it's the truth. He just... I mean, the king doesn't lose to the ground queen, but everything else might. Yeah, because but still, you you haven't technically lost the game yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm technically right. Shut up. It's just gonna be a long game here. It's gonna be a long grind, but if the, the longer the game, it, the more advantage for Elise. So, it's gonna really come down to what the heck's gonna happen, though. Because usually the better players has more advantage the longer the game lasts. And... But then the more... The longer the game goes, the less she can defend against RNG. That's... Depends. Because that also means the more she can use RNG against Jeff Beer, but who knows no. how it's gonna go. <laughs> 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 who knows that how that would go. <laughs> so far history has shown that using RNG against Jeff Beard hasn't really paid off. <laughs> it's the empir empirical truth. <laughs> As we say. Is he just gonna go for that one? Okay, yup. I, I feel like, uh... Chef Beard is missing uh, some... Is wasting a bit of time here, but... Who, it's RNG, I he guess. He's going not, for the RNG. He's up on time. Huh. I meant the, the peace development. The two horses he's are down, just he's staying down there. Both he's down both bishops, but... One bishop was amazing, and the other one was uh, gonna be bullied, so, I mean, he's technically down one bishop. Tough spot. Uh, what? 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 Did Elise just plunder the whole queen? No. No, it's go- The <laughs> RNG! <laughs> exactly, he blundered the- but she did, she did not blunder the wait. No, but then Jeff Beard can check the Ghost King. Now he has no time to think the Steel Queen. <laughs> At least put herself in a spot where RNG matters, and Jeff Beard is not punished by RNG. So dumb. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> Straight up, I don't care. Next tournament is being held with on the beta with no RNG. <laughs> <laughs> and if you do that, you're gonna nerf Jeff Beard, man. I know. That that's. Like, <laughs> I tried to do it already. It didn't work. <laughs> the beta I mean, the beta, shut the down. beta's back. The beta's back right now, but. Um... I I try. I already tried to do the whole. The... They try it next time. Hope that next week it works, you know? It now, works Jeff right can now. Just like remove all of Elise's pieces and just leave her with only. Okay. Not gonna be that simple though. You could still technically do it, but. <laughs> I mean, you've already got a winning game. You've already got one rook that's good against his. Against uh, Elise's rook. So do you like? I don't. I don't think you want to take that, or you do. 
Oh, yeah, yeah taking one. the rock knight was a good move, actually. Because now, after trading off the steel rook, now Elise has no more fuel except the king. All she's got left is this fire bishop that's on the wrong square. Yeah. Oh, is she going for it? I mean, what, what else can she go for? I'm outplaying Jeff. <laughs> when you're down so many stuff. Yeah. Sounds impossible. I mean, no matter this how. Is, this is. I mean, I she mean, is outplaying Jeff. Jeff, because Jeff is playing badly. If there was, if there was someone to do it, it would be either Elise or Triple. Yeah, Jeff is at risk right now. All of a sudden. Does... Oh, Jeff just broke the game. <laughs> Oh my god, it worked! <laughs> she didn't miss two! She didn't miss two! <laughs> Jeff just threw the game. <laughs> he, he said, yeah, just... He said, yeah, wa watch this miss, guys. This wasn't supposed to happen. There were 10 worlds in which that worked out. And he found out he wasn't in one of them. <laughs> I'll be right back. Spot. Oh, Jeff Beard. Trying to counter the ground queen with the grass queen, the flying king, together. Very oh, nice. And he's got a really nice in on the water bar. Very, very nice. But I still prefer Elise. Put, get, I still prefer Elise's team because Jeff Beard pawn setup and peace setup is extremely awkward right here. Oh my god, you're right. He can just let he, like bully that trap hinge. Yeah, like she can bully, she can bully the froggy, bully the bidoof, bully the Pikachu. She can bully all the other pieces except the king and the queen, which is really, really not a good spot to be in this for Jeff Beard. But there's still a chance. There's still a chance. You know? Not a good moment to be in though. There's only one move here that defends the position for Jeff Beard, but does he see it? Does he see it? I'm not gonna say the move in case he's <laughs> someone's stream sniping, but there's there might be a move that save him just there. Cause he cannot just move the beat of he finds it. Very nice. Sacrificing the Vosion or Doduo. Very nice. Okay, no, Jeff Jeff Beard blundering it back. Potentially. But it's or not. Hmm. Pushing the Bidoof doesn't achieve much because then the position is really really tight here all right elise trying to trade off the L the water pawn mm. blocking the pikachu blocking the pikachu with the needle queen very nice jeff beard now realizing his pikachu has nowhere to go except for rng but i mean that really doesn't accomplish much indeed that might just help Elise a little bit too. But there's not anything he can do actually, so... Otherwise the Pikachu is gonna get bullied by the Needle Queen, which is why you don't want the Electric Bishop. I mean, then the, this is why you don't keep the Electric Bishop every single time. Yep, because you Elise just, is always exploiting it. Do you just, just go for it? Do you just, do you just hit the Do you just hit Dino and just say, yeah? 
I think that uh, I think he has oh, to take the, the Dark Fawn. He's gonna sacrifice the Pikachu. He's there's no way he's not sacrificing that. P Wait, he actually is not sacrificing the Pikachu. No, no, he's gonna what? do it soon. He's gonna. No, okay, no. He can't Jeff anymore. just blundered the Ice Knight. Because now the Victini is hitting the Ice Knight, and he's hitting the Electric Bishop too. And the. And all of a sudden. All of a sudden, it's just aren't. The position looks so weird, but Elise is just in time to not die. Definitely, you have to move the queen because, yep, attacking the Pikachu again is the only way to make threats while defending. Jeff Beard is making a lot of threats around here. But he does also have a lot of weaknesses to the ground queen, unironically. You can just move it back and then... Yeah, because now he's in check. Do you just go for it? Do you just say like, yeah, I gotta go get dinner, and then hit the dark pawn and say, uh, uh, miss me, and if you don't, GG's. Uh, but it, but the thing is, if if Jeff Beer does oh that, God, Elise does. will probably not take the Pikachu, probably just move the king. Okay. Or take cheesecake, okay, yeah. Good crit, good crit. Yeah, good crit, yeah. 